Hey everybody, good morning. This is Alpha Zero at your service. I'm gonna do a review on the new episode of Log Horizon, which is episode 13. Now, for this episode, I gotta say, <laughs> pretty um, nice, but that ending right there is pretty, um, it's, it's, also, it's also freaky, but it's also freaky. And we may know what's the next arc or what's gonna be happening next. But after that ending, I just saw the e e preview for the next episode. And I'm actually excited for it. So if anything else, um, let's just get let's just get stuck. Let's just get started. Okay. Um, at the okay at the beginning, we see to it that many people that it, that it's Valentine's Day and people are getting ready for it, you know. And I'm just thinking in my mind, ah, you know, love it is love is it love is really high in thin air, you know, especially for someone you. Care about, but another thing too is like um, what I also figured out is like um, I'm trying to I'm trying to think right now um, that that these I, this item called a Colcina fruits whatsoever like the moment they say like if you feed it to the person you love on Valentine's Day they will say like who they love you know and I'm thinking in my mind what that's pretty crazy and therefore um, many. Um, a lot of people has been grabbing these fruits and went out, and it actually went out, went out, went out of order, which is to my surprise, you know. So, yeah, I'm pretty like um, going like, wow, I did not know of that, you know. That's pretty um, exciting or something, but don't know. But another thing too is like, um, what I also found, what I also find is like um, that it, you can also use it to make some items too, and I go like, what, really? That's pretty, in that's pretty intense right there. And then. As they um, continue with their, um, let me see here, uh, uh, Valentine's Day, you know, um, Madi ends up getting the fruit, Akatsuki, the other girl, I forgot her name, and, and yeah, many people, like, um, ate, ate the Kosina fruits, the first person was Naotsugu, and, when he ate the fruit, when he ate the fruit, he said he's gonna love original pennies, but Akatsuki, on the other hand, um, no, actually, there was actually many other people before that, but I'm pretty sure of that, but not exact, not exactly, you know? I know I'm being disorganized right now, and I really must apologize, I can't really help myself. As, uh, as Akatsuki and maybe the other girl, like, the other girl that also likes Shiro, or something, they were training how to make these things, you know. The first person I was training was actually was actually the girl who's trying to make something for Rudy and so forth, you know. So I pretty much um, see this episode as a Valentine's thing. Well, Shiro says he likes curry after he he ate the cocina made um, meal, and yeah, that's about it. And as for the girl who likes Nyanta-san, you know, the little short girl, she, she gave him some flowers, you know, which is pretty nice. Um, Better than nothing, and so forth. Another thing too is like um more. I forgot to mention about the girl who had the scythe and had made Krusty disappear, and her arm is missing. Like literally, she had to replace it with a with a prosthetic arm or robotic arm or something. And I go like, wait a minute, aren't supposed like um vir in virtual reality games where you're supposed to have like your he limbs healed up or something? But I guess this is a different situation though, which is something that I. I hope to it gets questioned about and so forth another another thing too that is surprising that is also surprising is let me see here I'm trying to think I'm trying I'm trying to think right now um that the girl um the girl with the wolf ears or something or I don't know like um that's from that's that was on the last episode of Wild Horizon season one she was actually working for someone like a girl named Intex or something. She says you're just ugly or something. Who else would accept you, huh? After everyone find out that lie, lie, lie about you, you know. And I literally don't know what's gonna happen, but all I know is that group or that girl Intex is gonna be the next antagonist. So I'm looking forward to that, you know. Another thing too was like um next up ne just just saw the preview in the next episode. Dang, things are just gonna get down now because. <laughs> It's actually about the former leader of the tea party that Shiroi and Naotsuku was in. And I'm actually excited for it because I want to see what this girl's doing and so forth. And 
so on. So if anything else, I'll end my review right here, people. I'm so sorry for being disorganized, you know. The only thing that the only thing that um catches my attention is just the Cosina fruits. The missing arm and Krusty. Krusty is still missing. I don't know where he went of that freaking crazy Grim Reaper site, but yeah. And and the other party whatsoever. Her name is Intex, and she's like in charge of a party whatsoever. And something about the 10 seats of the council. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, those are the only three things that caught my attention. The rest was just like um, uh, some funny comedic moments here and there. Well, if you guys have been wondering, like, what's the shirt I'm wearing, well, it's a anime thing, you won't understand. Just in case if you guys can't see it, um, there it is. So, I got, I just got this as a Christmas present, you know, and so forth. So, if anything else, um, I'll end my review, review here, people. Expect my next review to come up in about, like, 30 to 40 minutes. So, I'll see y'all till then. I'm off the zero. Have a good day. Later. Peace out. Bye-bye.